Hi everyone! Happy Halloween from Brisbane, Australia! Before I forget, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my videos while I go on my journey to reaching my goal of becoming a best-selling author. Anyway, today for Halloween, I thought I'd do something special and read part of Chapter 2 from Guardian Recruit. This book is my paranormal romance about angels and fallen angels in London at a psychiatric ward. It's based a little bit on the hospital school where I used to work, but obviously with fictional characters and it's much spookier. Um, I've also got my angel wings today and um, maybe while you're listening, you'll be able to figure out why my wings are black. Anyway, here we go. Oh, before I forget, that's right. So, um, I'm, because I'm just reading the excerpt of chapter two, I should tell you that I'm going to read after our main character, Kai, has shown himself to a teenager in hospital and the teenager freaked out when he saw Kai looking like an angel. So, he demater Kai dematerialized and now he's talking to his apprentice, Freddy, because Kai is training a new angel uh, called Freddy. So this is them talking about, you know, being an angel and um, stuff like that. So here we go. The lesson today, Freddy, is not everyone feels calmed by the church image of angels. Kai motioned towards the teenager who'd finally sunk back against his pillow even if they pray for help and ask specifically for a sign. Why didn't you just appear to him the way you look now? Freddy gestured towards Kai's t-shirt, jeans, and skateboard shoes. Say something like, Hiya, I'm Kai. I'll be your angel today. I'm not Kai, and you're not Freddy. Not to them. When we're on the job, we represent the Archangel Sariel. That's who we are to those who ask for our help. Kai checked the kid on the hospital bed, now in a drug-induced stupor, the second kid he couldn't help in one morning. He faced his charge. Maybe he could at least aid Freddy in figuring out how to be a guardian angel. It's like the Father Christmas guys at the shops. They're not the real Santa, but to the children who sit on their laps, they are, and it would be in poor form for them to say, Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'll be your Santa today. Now, wouldn't it? Freddy slowly nodded, eyes wide and studying Kai. Are you telling me that Santa's real? Kai slapped a hand to his forehead. If he'd been in mortal form, he'd surely have a Freddy-induced headache by now. He motioned to the unconscious boy who had a huge scab over his nose where he'd landed on his face after a failed hanging attempt. We'll come back in a few hours and soothe him invisibly, or maybe in his dreams. Perhaps this one needs to feel our presence more than see it. Kai placed a hand on his apprentice's shoulder and turned him away from the bed. Walk with me, Frederick. Freddy balked at the curtain in front of him. Kai led by example and walked through like there was nothing blocking his way. A couple of steps later, the newbie emerged behind Kai, shifting his legs like his trousers were riding up his ass. That was so weird. Freddy looked from the curtain to his body and back again. You get used to it. Leading the way out of the children's recovery ward, Kai took them through children's oncology. It was only November, but the place was already draped in tacky Christmas decor that was supposed to cheer up the patients and their families. Kai nodded a greeting at a majestic angel, all shining light and glossy black wings. He was in the middle of communicating with a frail, bald child on a hospital bed on the far end of a large shared public room. Good news for the kid, those guys deal in miracles. Kai told Freddy. So the angel kid's compulsory? His apprentice clarified, chewing the corner of his thumb while he ogled the angel of miracles like a tourist. 
No, we appear the way we're needed, but we have other garb, some of which are actually for practical reasons, like our armor when we're fighting the fallen. It's pretty cool, kind of medieval. Not that we usually show that to mortals. When people pray for an angel, they usually expect to see one in a gown with the white wings and halo. Freddy's eyes widened, mouth forming an O. So, why are that bloke's wings black? It's because only Archangel's wings are pure white light. The reality is, our wings kind of match our hair. Kai tipped his chin at the angel's midnight mane. Ah, Freddy said. So, like the carpet matching the drapes, so to speak. An unexpected burst of laughter got caught in Kai's throat. He cleared it. Um, yes. Mine are light because I'm blonde, but as you've seen, my wings are not all white. They're a little speckled. Freddy groaned, mouth down at the corners. Oh, great. I get to be a ginger-winged angel? Kai chuckled. I reckon yours will look like a falcon's. His apprentice's face lit up. When will I get them? You get them when you pass through this training period, but as you saw, wings can freak people out and they're kind of unwieldy. That's why I don't usually have mine on display. I should have known better than to appear in the whole wings and gown thing to a teenage boy. Rookie mistake, I came in too hot. Ah, oh, keep your chin up, boss. Freddy gave Kai a pat on the shoulder. Everybody makes mistakes, in it? How long you been doing this gig? A while. Damn. I didn't realize you were an old codger. I mean, you act like it. But you don't look much older than me. Freddy pinched his chin between his thumb and forefinger, brows knotting. So, how old are you really? Like... 150? Do we just stay in our prime forever? Kai cocked his head in, at his apprentice. How quickly did they recruit Freddy into the service? Didn't he know the basics of the afterlife? I'm 24, Freddy. Limey. And you're training new angels already? You must be pretty good, yeah? Hit the ground running, so to speak. Kai shook his head. No, Fred, I was as green as you once. Worse, I remember being scared for the first few years in this gig. He pointed to a girl in a white gown sitting at the foot of the bed of the bald child who was receiving the good news of a miracle. On her face was a smile as she nodded along to whatever the raven-haired angel was telling the boy. You see that girl in white next to the angel? Like her. My training into this service started earlier than yours. Freddy's jaw dropped. She's a ghost. He scanned the room as if trying to spot who else was not part of the living. Like you, she's an angel in training, Kai corrected with an encouraging smile at his apprentice. When kids go to heaven, we get recruited as angels. It's our second chance to live a full life. In the afterlife, we grow older, Without the illnesses and aches and pains, of course. But it's just like we would have done on Earth. Later, we retire in heaven when our loved ones join us. You get it now, Freddy? I'm not better than you at being an angel. I just died much younger than you did. Okay, so that is part of Chapter 2 from Guardian Recruit. So it is available from Amazon, Book Depository, and should be available soon through other places, but not for free. So please don't support uh, pirate websites because they are really stealing from authors like me. Anyway, thank you everyone. Enjoy your holidays.